Hi guys, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain. Now I'm trying something different today. I am going to put this video in with no intro. Let me know down below what you think. I've just got to the stage where I think, is an intro just a waste of time? I don't know. Let me know. Okay, so this card is basically going to be a design file, a blank for you to do whatever it is that you want to do in it. I've designed this one so that we have two pieces. I've also designed it so that it's in one piece. If you've got a cutting machine which is able to cut it in one piece, no problem. First thing I need to do is to line these up like so. And I just need to put a little mark just there and just there to make sure that when I put these together, I get them correctly positioned. It isn't difficult in the slightest, but you don't want to do that. I know that's exaggerated, but it's not going to be very good if you do. So you just want to be able to align those up. So I've got some glue in here. I'm doing this bit first because eventually it's going to be folded and you want it to be nice and strong by the time it's folded. So get this piece done out of the way. So that can go to one side while we start on the rest of the card. Now I've got a mock-up here and this is what it's going to end up being like. So I have an alternative color for the center pieces. I didn't want them to be the same color. I wanted them to be different. And I've also put in some offsets that will go inside here. So these need to be glued in place. So you've got your base piece and you've got your inner piece. And you can see, I should think by now, that these just slot together. So what's going to happen is that this one is going to be concertinaed like that and this one is going to be concertinaed like that with this piece going through from the back to the front. Now, do not do what I just did and put it in now. <laughs> no. Finish doing any decoration that you want to do for this bit before adding that bit. That really does include things like any sentiments that you want to add because it's just going to be that much harder to do it when the card is dimensional and not flat. I'm just going to show you what it looks like with these decor pieces on. A word of caution on this type of card. Be careful when you're using a one directional pattern. I've used a pattern card, yes, but it doesn't have a set direction to it. So that would be how that goes. Now, of course, the other thing that we do need to do is to decorate this front piece. We're not to decorate the rest, but that front piece needs some decoration. To put them together, if you start off with the inner ones, it will be easier. If you want to just slot it through like so and then you can align that with these tabs Then you can go to the edges and do the edge ones and that side there. So that's how the card is going to go. Now you may be thinking, but you haven't put the front panel. I know I haven't, but because it folds flat, that front panel can be put on afterwards. So I finished this card off by just adding some print and cuts to it. So that is a really simple thing to do. Now what I did was I traced my items I then set the outer line to a print rather than anything else and then I just printed it off. Now doing that I can just send it to the scan and cut and it will cut those outer lines which it did. So I've decided on just a spoil yourself theme 
and then I've put some graphics of some nice things that you might want to spoil yourself with on the inside. Now I haven't put a greeting on it or anything else but you could put a little patch on the back with your personalised message on it. So there we go, that's what I've chosen to do with mine. The images on here came from Pixabay. So if you look up things like ice cream sundaes and shoes and cocktails, you'll find these things. And that was under cakes, I believe. So there's all sorts of images that you can use. And most of them are PNGs, which means they have a transparent background anyway. And they're usually very easy to trace, which is a great thing in my view. They're also completely free and you can use most of them for any purpose you like. So that's the finished card. I hope you like it. And I hope that you take the time to make one yourself because it is really easy to do. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't and leave your comments down below.